What is happening everybody? Welcome back to Dark Horse Sports Cards. You got Brody here for another fun, exciting video. Another release week product. This time, Optic H2. The chase for the downtown continues, ladies and gentlemen. But before we jump into that today, we've got two giveaways that's happening. One right here on YouTube, this Optic Hobby Blaster for content or sorry, Contenders Blaster. I'm getting so excited about Optic. Contenders Hobby Blaster right here. All you got to do is like, subscribe, go back to the giveaway video, enter in a comment. Me and Kelsey will pick the winner here shortly. And if you're not following us on Instagram, now is the perfect time. We are giving away this 2020 Prism Joe Burrow Mint 9, courtesy of my local card shop, uh, Texas Sports Cards and Memorabilia here in Dallas, Texas. Uh, love the people over there. If you're ever in Dallas, definitely go check them out. But this is the giveaway. If you want to know how to enter, go follow us over on Instagram. Look for the post where you see the burrow, and that will tell you. Okay, what are we doing today? Well, we're, we're getting into Optic again. We saw the Optic Hobby Boxes. Uh, the prices of those kind of skyrocketed, right? Like initially, I think on release... They were like eight, nine hundred dollars, eight fifty, something like that. Now they're selling for well over a thousand in some places. So the Optic H2 is like the mini version. It's the hybrid, I guess, is what some people say the H stands for. So if you you know can't risk it for the biscuit with an Optic Hobby, which let's be honest, it's a pretty big risk. Uh, the H2 is like you get a little bit of a taste, but with a little bit smaller of the risk and a little bit smaller of the reward as well. So what are we looking for in the Optic H2? These are, by the way, selling on Panini's website for roughly around $475, probably with tax and shipping there. Um, but what are we looking for? Well, four cars per pack, so that's the same. Eight packs per box. I think Optic Hobby was like 20, I want to say, or 16, quite a bit. It might have been 16, honestly, double. I can't remember. I think it might have been 20, though. 20 feels right. Four, five, 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 and five. That feels right. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong in the comments though. Five H2 exclusive Mojo Parallels. So no idea what those look like. I'm assuming it's going to be similar to what we saw in Contenders Hobby with the, the Mojo looking kind of foil on them for the base cards, which could be really cool. A lot of people might like that. Obviously, we're still chasing the Downtown Mythicals and Blazers. Uh, you can also pull some autographs out of here. And on the back though, you can see the checklist is a lot smaller. Not a lot of color going to be pulled out of here, right? So you can get the base bronze mojos, number to 35. You can also get the Ray Rookies bronze mojos, number to 35. And then other than that, the only other numbered cards out of here are going to be those RPA, uh, the RPS's autographs um, out of 199. Other than that, everything else is uh, not numbered. So that is like the kind of where... Ooh, look at these pack. Look at how this package. I don't think they wanted to do it like that. That is where, you know, the taking a smaller risk as far as the price point of getting into the product, you also lose out on the big reward, right? You're not going to be able to pull golds out of here. Uh, gold, gold, uh, downtowns, Pandoras, any of those, those are all reserved for hobby. Here, the best thing you can really pull is probably going to be a CJ Stroud. Bronze Mojo, the 35. And then obviously you can still pull downtowns, which are going to be really good. So let's see what we have in here today. Another big rip. So uh, you guys have been su supporting the channel like crazy recently. So I do appreciate that. If you can drop a like on the video, it takes a few seconds. Uh, it helps us out a lot. So we do appreciate it. We're right now, I think, averaging around 300 likes a video, which is incredible. And we are closely... Uh, inching closer and closer to that 15,000 subscribers. So we appreciate you guys so much for supporting the channel. It allows us to do, uh, you know, yesterday we did a Contenders Optic video, which was like a $500 video. Today we're doing another $500 video. Tomorrow we're doing a couple hundred dollar video with the Olympics Hobby Box. So that is all in thanks to you guys for letting us do that and show you this product. All right, a little light it up there for Brycey Poo and a Luke Musgrave. Three rookies in the first pack. All right, we are still looking for that mojo. So there are eight packs, so it looks like three packs are not gonna have the mojo, and there's the mojo. Is that bronze too? Did we get a bronze mojo in our first pack? Will Levis on the base, 
I can't, I don't know if that's bronze. Dexter Lawrence. I don't know what bronze is. I don't know what bronze is. Is this bronze or just the mojo? That is bronze. Six out of 35, George Kittle. We got a bronze in our very first mojo, and that looks beautiful. A little heavy on the top, but that is a beautiful looking card there. George Kittle, six out of 35. Wow. Absolute, absolutely gorgeous. This will probably be up on our eBay, guys. Uh, with how hot of a player he is right now with um, the receiver Netflix show. And honestly, this kind of being bronze with the 49ers, kind of being a nice color match there. Definitely go check out our eBay. We'll have a lot of new stuff over on eBay. And also we have stuff on Whatnot too. I throw stuff on there on the auctions every once in a while. So definitely check out both. But that is a sick looking card there. All right. And we have... I don't know what we have. Red mojo? I didn't see red as an option. Felix on the back. We have a hollow of Jalen Carter. This is our auto. Oh my gosh. Jameer Gibbs. What is this? Is this the is this just the normal? Okay, this is just the normal mojo. So the normal mojo is red. Wow. This is also probably gonna be up on our eBay as well. Red mojo. Surprised they didn't say red. I wonder if they come in different colors. Red Mojo, Jameer Gibbs on the rated rookie. Beautiful card. Beautiful card. All right, we keep pushing. Jalen Hyatt. All right, so they're all going to be red, I guess. Austin Eckler on the back. Levis. Oh, JSN. What a box. What a box. What a box. We got JSN here on the red Mojo. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Very nice. Next one up. Another Gibbsy. This might be our auto here. If we have a rook on the front. A lot of times when you have a rook on the front, that means auto is coming. DJ Johnson. No, play action. Just an insert there. Play action on the hollow for Jalen Hurts. All right. All right, all right, all right. Not, I mean, not too many base cards either. So, kind of a kind of a sick, sexy box. Not gonna lie, uh, a, a pretty fun little rip here. Uh, obviously, with the downtown chase still, kind of a sexy box. That's gonna be a Peyton Manning, JSN on the front, Cooper Cup, and a Jordan Addison too. Wow. Okay, two packs left. Still. Uh, no auto, but I don't think autos are guaranteed. Yeah, it doesn't look like autos are guaranteed. So I wonder how many autos there are per case. And we have a red mojo right off the bat with a chain reaction behind that. Chain reaction of Bijan will take it in a red mojo. What does a CJ Stroud red mojo go for? We won't, we won't find out because that is Tyler Scott there for the Bears. All right, we're missing one more mojo. We get five, and I'm assuming the bronze counts as our mojo. So we are down to one more mojo and maybe a downtown. Could you imagine? What a box. This has not been a bad box, I don't think. Zay Flowers, red mojo on the back. We have a Brock Purdy base and captain in charge of Tua. And a Marty Mapu. All right. We kind of went out with a little dud pack there. Marty Mapu, definitely the worst of the rookies on the mojo we got. But we did get a bronze mojo. So, honestly, not that bad. Marty Mapu, Tyler, Scott. These look beautiful, too, by the way. I don't know if they really pick up that well on camera. But in person, these look absolutely beautiful. And I'm sure people are going to be gunning for these cards, for sure. Jameer Gibbs, beautiful card. And our George Kittle bronze mojo right there so absolutely beautiful cards very nice thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate all the support and uh look for these up on ebay maybe snag them up slab them up turn them for a profit i'll let you guys do it this time not me we'll see you in the next one keep ripping them packs